Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad, and on Instagram, Movies TV Mad, X YouTube, Movies TV Mad, and now on TikTok, Mick isn't perfect, because guess what? Mick is nowhere near perfect, and I'm quite comfortable with that reality. Ruthless, brutal, fantastic British television, that's what last night's Big Brother was. We've seen many, many fake evictions in the history of BB UK, but never in the last five days as we reach this final reckoning. They won't be expecting to see whoever's going to come back in the house, come back in the house. Those face-to-face -face nominations were fantastic. But did you see people's true feelings being exposed or was it very, very tactical? It's no surprise to me that Jordan had four nominations. He's a big threat to them. But Jordan paying the price for his tactics of kissing Henry. People are obsessed with the good shit Henry, but it is absolutely not real. The ambitious don't have any friends. My heart broke for Jenkin when he was watching the feed from the secret room and being shocked that Olivia somewhat didn't have his back. As I've already said, the ambitious don't have friends. This is a show where people go in to win, to become famous. Basically, you're looking at entertainment whores, attention whores, basically. They love the attention. They're in Big Brother for a reason. Let's go back to the incident between Tom and Yimra. Tom was quite right to be upset that she was breaking down crying. Who should really be crying? Tom, who, as far as he's, he, he's concerned, he's lost his place in the best reality show of all time, or Yimra. I understand that it was a difficult situation. Unfortunately to me, that Yim runs tears, a lot of her tears at times, do come across really fake. Who knows if she's genuine or not. Here's also the thing, people treat her like a baby, like she's sweet and innocent. It takes a lot of confidence to go through the Big Brother audition process, even before they put you on the show. So it's very hard to believe that anyone in that show is as naive as Yin Run makes out she is. They made a good point, the three housemates who have been fake evicted in the secret room. You know, they were talking about Liv, and they were saying, maybe she's putting on a show, maybe we haven't seen the true Liv. I can confirm that you haven't seen the true Liv. You know, she's gone through chapters, she's played a role every time. The woman who kind of maybe fancied Paul, then found out Paul had a girlfriend, and it's not like Liv wouldn't go there, it's that it would have looked bad to the public if she, you know, if she did anything with a guy who had said he had a girlfriend. And of course, we don't know if Paul would have been up for it. We will never know because we don't know Paul. And that's the truth. So... Through this process, Liv has been, you know, surviving through the skin of her teeth. It's almost like she's destined to win BB UK 2023. Can she? She has played one hell of a game. But I did feel sorry for Jenkin. It's clear he's somewhat naive. He probably comes from a village in Wales. So, you know, I believe when he says he came in for an experience rather than the money. I believe him that he was upset with Jordan for kissing Henry because he feels it's all, you know, for show. I agree. I agree with you, Jenkin. I agree with him there. I think he's absolutely right. And that's why he's upset with Jordan. But, you know, they're very different people. And, I mean, Jordan, on launch night in his VT, admitted that he was putting on some persona from the beginning. Now, I love Jordan. I love how dry he is. He cracks me up. I wouldn't mind him winning the show. But it is very, very interesting how they pretended to be upset when, you know, they were shockingly fake evicted. And then a few minutes later, you've got Liv and the rest of them singing somewhat in celebration that they survived. 
So as I say, they're going to be very, very upset when whoever walks back into the house walks in. So yesterday on Instagram and on Twitter, I posted a video being very, very disgusted about the trolling that's faced Chanel since she's come out of the house. But here's the thing. Speaking out against trolls gives trolls exactly what they want. If we ignored trolls, we would, you know, 15, I think we, you know, trolling would go down by 15% a year, but it's very difficult to, you know, not react to these people. Trolls are like a child tapping you on the shoulder, looking for attention. The last thing you should do is give them that attention. But here's the thing. We've been talking about aftercare for Love Island contestants for years. There is no aftercare in the entertainment industry because they don't care. It's as simple as that. You are just a commodity. The problem is when Craig won Big Brother 1 and when Brian won Big Brother 2, there was only Facebook. There was no Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. And, you know, the umpteen social media platforms we have today. That's what gives people the opportunity to attack Big Brother housemates when they come out the house. They're not media trained. They are ordinary people. A million, they're coming out to millions of people having these unfounded opinions about them. It's very difficult. What is the answer to protect these people? There is no answer. It is an impossible situation and the broadcaster never protects these people. They're just like you and me. They're going into an, you know, they're going into a vacuum. People have criticized, you know, a couple of the housemates for not being, you know, what we thought they may be. Like, you know, Jenkin is not this kind of Hurley caricature that everyone wanted him to be. When you go in there, it's a vacuum. You are, you know, you, you are drowned out by these, you know, 16 characters on launch night. It is very, very difficult to be the life and soul of the party. In a way, you have to train your mind before you go in that house so you, you are determined so people notice you. And this is the problem that Tom has found. There is a live eviction tonight. Either Tom, Jenkin, or what's his name? Jordan, that's it. How can I forget your name? But yeah, I think, is it two of them are going out? I can't remember. I think it is. A double eviction and one of them goes back into the house very very interesting who do I think will go um, well if it's just one housemate going I think it's Tom if it's two I think it will be Tom and Jenkin because I think Jordan has a very very huge fan base there's no question about that let me go back to the trolling situation we you the public have seen what's been said about Trish now. I have seen the hashtag, oh no, let me say that again. I have seen her account banded about Twitter. I could easily, you know, go there and say what I think about the stuff I've seen her post historically, but I'm not gonna waste my oxygen. I don't think anyone, no matter what they do, deserves to be trolled. We need to be better, and we need to stop taking this show so deeply. Once they're out, they're out. It's finished. It's just a game. It's all panto, as Davina used to say. Be careful of your words, because words can wound.